This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, I'm Alex. It's the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight. And hello, uh, welcome, and happy Insurrection Day. Uh, this is uh, being broadcast a year after that whole thing went on in Washington, D.C., where we tried to, you know, count up the electoral votes, and somehow some people knocked on the door and said, you can't do that, and uh, we had to stop for a little bit. But anyway, we're back, and we're doing fine, and the democracy is still here in some stupid form. But anyway, hey, listen, I want to start off the show tonight with something a little different uh, for us. Uh, last, uh, what was it, Christmas Day, uh, a friend of Marjorie's came over, and she is moving away from here. She is moving, I think, to, did she say West Virginia? Well, she'll say on the way, you'll hear it in a second. And she's moving because she hates New York. And uh, so we had a discussion about that and a whole bunch of other things, and it was just nice little chat. So I was recording it with my GoPro, and I said, ah, what the hell, you know, I, I got to waste 20 minutes on this show, so why not play this for you? And I think you'll kind of enjoy it. Uh, we start off by walking down the hallway here. Uh, in uh, that's our apartment, by the way, uh, and uh, Hi, there's Marjorie. How are you? I'm fine. Happy day after Christmas. What is that one? A new toy. No, I've had this for a while. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I have four of these cameras. He's down. recording us right now. What is that? Mm -hmm. huh? Merry Say hello Christmas. to her. She's, She's leaving. leaving. And goodbye, New Wait. York. I am going to Virginia, <laughs> and I hope when I get back. This city has changed, really, but for the not, better. For West, the better. It's not West Virginia. Why? What's the difference? John Denver wrote a song about West Virginia. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and the Blue Ridge. No, Mountains. I am going to Hampton, Virginia, where there are people that look like me a lot. Ninety percent. You mean? Me? <laughs> you, you, you mean well, I didn't want to say it, but you, you know, you mean people of color. You mean? <laughs> you mean Negroes? You, oh, people of color. <laughs> Here's what I we don't say, get. We say people of here's, color. Here's what I don't. Here's, here's what I don't get. Okay, is you say people of color, right? Yeah. That's proper, correct? That is proper in this okay, day. Okay, so age. people of color would be what? You got black people nope, who are women, married to women, white women, people. Women, interracial. Women, women, women. Let me ask you this: people of color would be what? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Mulattoes. No. no. People, Why? Why would you Because you use a term, you use the term people of color, and that would mean they're colored. <laughs> well, that's what they used to call us, remember? No, what I'm saying Maybe is if correct. you use the term colored now to a black person, they get really insensitive about it. Well, I don't know, know about that. My well, father and his generation, my father's 93, they yeah. still call each other colored. But that and they also generation. Wait, they still, my father calls white people crackers still. When we're in the supermarket, but and it's like nobody gets mad. I'm looking at them. And I'm like, are they gonna fight? I mean, but they come from that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. There, yeah. he's a cracker, and he's a, a and I'm a Jew. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> uh, true. Huh? But I enjoy rugula, bagels, oh my God. lox. Chicken Does that noodle make soup. You a Jew? Wait, wait. <laughs> Do you like chicken livers? I love chicken livers. See? <laughs> Not chopped chicken livers. I do love chopped chicken Name livers. Name was mulch? No, remember I told you I went to Ronnie's thing and she did chopped chicken livers. What was the thing I never knew you people did? Schmaltz. She bought out no chicken. Grease. That's small. And that's cool. oh, okay. That's and small. poured it on it. That's small. Honey, shoot. yeah. You, you used to get on. What was the place down in the village where? Not the village, but the Lower East Side that was Chinatown famous for. Well, that was, was famous for its uh, for its uh, chopped chicken liver. That was her husband. 
Uh, it's across uh, the street from you. No, 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 no. This is way downtown. On the borderline of Chinatown. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was her husband's restaurant. Well, he anyway, died and what, left her. What was that. the what name was of the, the restaurant? Name? Sammy's? Sammy's. Right, yeah, because I went there a lot. Sammy's. And we had parties in there, and that's what they were doing in there. I was like, wow. <laughs> I took one of my girlfriends from Georgia there. Yeah. She's a big woman. I couldn't get her out of there. Yeah. She was like, Well, yeah, I went the there, I went there, <laughs> and I had chopped chicken liver, and they bring out the liver, mm -hmm. and they chop it up at the table, and then they add the onions, and they add all the other stuff, right. and then they throw the schmaltz in. They just ladle in. <laughs> The, uh, the, the I chicken never fat. saw that before. It's I, 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 the, I know. The, the, that night, I never got so sick in my See, life. I, I was just, it was just too much. It was overload. Too right. rich. I too shit rich. for three days constantly because the, the meat, I didn't know you guys like meat like that. The kind you slice oh, off yeah. the... Oh my God, brisket, was it? Yeah, I don't brisket, even know. Brisket, yeah. But the food and cabbage. Re Sammy's Romanian. Sammy's, Sammy's was good. It was Sammy called Sammy's Romanian. And remember steakhouse. on the wall, they always. And had... I never saw a steak in the place. All I saw was grease. <laughs> and and, and he's know. right. And the ceilings were low. Are they still open? She sold it, and she, they, she still has an apartment in the village. No, but, but Sammy's. She sold it, so I don't know if it's still Sammy's or whatever. But she sold it about, existence. I would say, about ten years ago now. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. died. Long, he died. Left her a really rich woman. So <laughs> I really so yeah. because so, that wasn't his only restaurant. So anyway, and I'm, you know I'm, I may put this on my show. This is very good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, but but anyway. The, and the Jew from Philadelphia. <laughs> The Jew from Philadelphia. Well, this is your best friend. Who's leaving? She's leaving to go to Virginia. To the Virginia. <laughs> Virginia. You know why? Because she's going to a place where there are nothing but Negroes. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I love Negroes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love you guys. This is my best friend. I love She's that Jewish. term. Wait a minute. I and love, you are too. I love that term, Negro. I don't know why. All I know is it's a funny word. But you know what I like about that place? Yes, it's more of me. We're professionals. We're yeah. not. We're doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs. Yeah. And and um, we respect and each other. The state other. still voted for Trump, right? <laughs> that yeah. I can't believe. Nobody there can believe that. And they, they, they made me laugh about that. And they put in a Republican. But wait a minute. minute. Most of my Latino clients here, I would have to say 90% of my Latino clients in New York City are Republican. Really? Uh, yes, and I'm in shock about that. Wow. No, I'm not, I mean, I'm not really. in shock about it. In Be New York City? Because a lot, of the, <laughs> a lot of those Latinos are like uh, Cuban. You know, You're right. Yeah. No, a lot of them are Puerto Rican, and they tell me that every time there's a Republican in the house, they make money. Now, grant you, they live in Long Island in a big house, and or or they're in the Bronx paying two hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. for a brownstone. Yeah, yeah. That they claim that it could only have happened when a Republican was in office. Oh, okay. I, I don't. I don't get it either. I, I, I don't get it. Yeah. I, I, I just don't get it. This is his show tonight, by the way. No, well, that's my, that's my, my it's show. Okay. But next, I'm leaving New I York for a lot of reasons. Why are you, now, leave, why I, are you leaving? Why because are you? it's toxic. Uh, I don't it's, want to hear it because she don't want to hear it. I tell because her all the time. We're here. We're, we're here getting poisoned. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna get, look. You can't even breathe here. You go outside. You don't know if it's dog shit. It could be human shit. Hey, I've, this is I've our... seen people across the street from where you live. I'm sure there's human shit. Pulling in down their sure, pants and going I'm, to the I'm, bathroom. I'm sure there's human shit in Virginia. I'm not no. But come on, so, no. We're not leaving. <laughs> yeah, we're staying. You're too old to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. You guys are settled. What did she just say? Marjorie's planning Wait, on leaving her? in a did couple you, of did years. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> okay. She said about times? us. You know, this is not right. This no, is not good. You know your it. wife. When is when is your death rate date? Hey. She's been telling me for what, years you, you, she you, wants you, to you, die in 2020. No, no. Alex's friend. <laughs> wait, this is Larry a Bubbles just, Brown. Larry Bubbles Brown was on the show with Alex and he was talking that he did this such and such and such and he found the date and year he was going to die. 
So as they're talking, I'm doing the same thing, and it came out to January 2023, which She's I've since which I've since revised. Okay, <laughs> I, I, hope so. I, 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 I have revised what Larry Bubbles Brown theory yeah. was. Oh, okay. All right. Well, for so, me, uh, I just turned 70. That was devastating for me because I went to bed 25 okay, and I people, woke they, they never look up 70. 70. That's my yeah, whole point. That's if I don't get crack, my Alex. Hey, black black crack. Crack. Yeah. Alex, if I don't get my beautiful black ass out of here now, I'm going to look 90 in one year. What's going on in New York What's now? What's going on in New York I just now. finished telling you, toxic. Too many people. The crime. It's been I mean, that way always. The men don't respect the, you. The crime is. Well, I is was less, doing. Uh, I was doing some of the things I'm listen, telling you about. I was so. here. I was here in the it first came here in the 70s. Okay. I was here in the 60s. And I was here in the 70s. And I got to tell you, there was a lot more crime then. Than oh, yeah. Now. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yes. No, but it's looking like that now. You don't Not think yet. so? It's getting there. Oh, Just, come on. I've never, and suit. you know what? Everybody well, wants you, to move you, around this area. I'm never going to talk about my no, n my old neighborhood again. Yeah. It's like heaven compared to where I'm staying now. And he's in a historic neighborhood. The rats are bigger than me. The rats are bigger than you? They're bigger than me. <laughs> you know, I'm not that big, but these rats are huge. We only saw, we've only seen mice in this apartment. Uh, no, they're outside when you come. I mean, it's like, I'm screaming. I can't believe it. I gotta leave here. This place is toxic. It's really toxic. And yeah. I wanna live a long time. I'm looking forward to a new adventure. I'm scared. But I'm looking forward to a new adventure. You have a car. You're taking it down there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you're going to need a car down there. Yeah. That's the only way to get around. Well, the place where I'm living is really everything's around. Well, who's going to take us to Stu Leonard's now? Uh, she's figured out a way to get it delivered. <laughs> no, we, get it, we get it delivered now. As long as she's getting her sausages the only, the only and is, those potato chips, yeah, yeah. she's fine. People don't know about Stu Leonard's, but Stu Leonard's is a store Farm. where where you actually walk a path to yeah. all the food. All supermarkets should be like that. Yeah, well, you I don't mean, bump into people. See, yeah. she likes her potato chips, and, and you like the, your here's sausages. Here's the potato chips. Stu Leonard, they like deliver Stu now. Leonard. I remember I told there you don't are, buy folks. them, you'll get hooked, and you got hooked. Remember I said don't buy them, you're gonna okay. get hooked. Look at those. Look at those. Are those potato chips? Uh, and they hand make these things. Yes. I mean, <laughs> don't even give me one. I'm, mm. <laughs> Oh, good for you since you lost weight. Mm hmm. Well, she lost weight. I gained it all. I, <laughs> Alex, yeah. where you've been complaining? You, you know, but you've really looked good through this whole pandemic. You know, you really have. You really have. Well, no, you didn't, and you didn't go out a lot. Well, now we may have COVID. <laughs> You guys did not have COVID. Because because Marjorie didn't listen well, to Well, first of all, you got an appetite. Look at both of you. I mean, really, you do not have no, COVID. No, we wanted to eat as much as we can before, <laughs> before we die of COVID. Uh, I'm a health professional. You guys are okay, really. What? Well, Marjorie, tell a story, Marjorie. What's the story? About your accountant. <laughs> Don't tell him. The, I'm not. The, the accountant is going to be responsible for our death. It's private. No, she has an accountant. No, yeah, she told me what deals with the office. She told she, she deals with the, the accountant at the office, and she said, "I have to go in because the accountant. We're closing the books for the month." And I said, "Look, you know, COVID has gotten really bad in New York City, and you shouldn't go in, and you should find a way to do it like by Zoom or whatever." She says, "No, I got to go in." So she goes into the with the accountant, sits next to him all day, right? Does the books. He leaves. Uh, our Christmas present on Thursday is he calls and says, I've been tested for COVID and I got it. I asked you, did you have to go? I remember I said, why didn't you do it on TV? I said, I told her that. Yeah, Same well, thing. I warned her not to do it. Same thing. Okay, and she wouldn't, li her. she wouldn't listen to me. She didn't listen to me either, I told her. And now I may die because of her. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the, the if it's a, if, if it's a new Omicron, it, you get it within about three days, and we're up to about five days now. So, 
You, know. you would have been cured in two, I thought. They said no, the symptoms not, are mild no, if you've been uh, vaccinated. Yeah, well, uh, that we're counting on. Well, every now <laughs> and, and then you, you hear a story too. about a guy who got all boosted and everything, and a then he died. A breakthrough. A no, break we only heard of one death from that. Really? Yes. In the whole country? In the whole country, one death. Everybody mm. else, they said they got sick, like maybe. Yeah, 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 and then that was it. Yeah. One death. Yeah. That's all we... we one I death. took out the bottle to, for you to open. No, well... Well, what bottles? I thought you were going to bring it. <laughs> no, you have to open it. Oh, I'm very bad at that. You anyway, know. have yourself a nice time um, in, in Virginia, am. and we'll never see you again. Oh, no, you will. Are you going to come up? I just asked Marjorie, that place we spent the summer and COVID in, yeah. I, I'm making him commit to giving us one week up there, like a, our vacation home. Yeah. And so I just want to know from her. Of course, I couldn't live without you two guys. So you can keep. You going. have you guys keep... been like my yeah. brother and sister. I, I yeah. don't know, my second family. Well, we're gonna miss you, sweetie. I'm gonna miss you too, yeah. Mwah, but I'm not missing Nueva York. All right, stop it. <laughs> we have to stay here. God damn it. Well, come visit. Well, There's six beaches near me that we can walk to. I swear to God, there's, ah. You gotta realize, <laughs> she does exercises with old people. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, and, and she never gets out of that mode. So come on down to what West mode? Virginia. Uh, what exercising mode? old people. Come on down to West Virginia and we'll walk down to the beach. I'm gonna open up my own studio and I'm gonna be one of the most popular instructors there. You're gonna You're see this me. in one year. I know that. Because I'm going to bring my New York attitude with me. Yeah. So it's going to be fine. Don't give me yeah. that stuff. i got to look cute. These are actually very good. I'm doing these, so this, good. These are terrific. I like Tell them everybody because go to school. Look at the size of them. that chip. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You just dropped half of it. There's nothing on the floor. I don't see anything. Well, guys. Well, yeah, well, enjoy yourself. Happy right. New Year. Okay. This is Teresa. <laughs> That's Marjorie. And this is Alex. Thank you. All right. Love you, sweetie. Love you, guys. Okay, bye-bye. Love you, love you. See you love later. You, Bye. Anyway, that's our friend Teresa, and she is leaving. She is going uh, elsewhere. Uh, she's... Uh, She's leaving us and uh, going to uh, uh, Virginia, and that's it. You know, that's uh, that's going to be what's going to be happening. So uh, anyway, you know, what the hell. Uh, but she left the next day, I think it was. She left the next day and uh, the day after Christmas, and uh, she's now down in Virginia. And I don't know if Marjorie's talked to her yet, but uh, we wish her all the uh, all the luck in the world. Well, we only have one person waiting for us right now uh, uh, on the panel, or on the potential panel, uh, and that's uh, Charlie Wallace, okay? So if it's just Charlie and me, uh, uh -oh. uh, maybe, this is, maybe this is a little better than, uh, uh, than myself and, uh, <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> uh, 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 oh boy, my mind is just so, my mind is terrible these days. Uh, 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 Phil, that's what I was going to say. You're, 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 uh, uh, Charlie's the new Phil. There he is, folks, <laughs> sitting there. Uh, hi, it's just that. it's just you and me, you know. Well, where is everybody? I don't Who's know. Everybody? Well, I mean, they but they always think, oh, we don't have to tune into this program until you know, until yeah. the interview's over, so they don't know we're even uh, doing this. But you know what you should do? We should just sign off in a couple of minutes before they get here, <laughs> you know, and, and, and teach them a lesson, uh, which would be nice. Anyway, oh, uh, what do you think about what Teresa was saying? I want Teresa's phone number. She's wonderful. Yeah, she is, isn't she? She really <laughs> yeah. is. And it's a shame that she has to leave here to go yeah. down there. She hates what New York has become, you know. Wow. And uh, I don't know that I, I totally agree with her. Although, I, to tell you the truth, if I had to leave here tomorrow, I'd be happy. Okay? And so would our landlords. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, um, and I've been having headaches lately, sinus headaches, and it's supposed to snow tomorrow. And uh, wow. wow. I do not miss that weather. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm you live in a park. Yeah, you get you you do occasionally get uh, snow down there, don't you? Yeah, about once every four or five years. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, now with the uh, with the global warming thing and everything like that, I think it's yeah. a good shot. You know that it's going to be more than that. You know. So, uh, don't remind me. Yeah. So what are your what's your you know I hate to bring up uh, uh, the sixth of January of last year, yeah. But uh, I guess the people on MSNBC and CNN won't let it go. I mean, you go over to uh, uh, Fox. I went over to Fox today. They're not even talking about it. Oh yeah, of course not. <laughs> yeah, they want they want to make like it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. But on the other hand. MSNBC and CNN are making it like it's the only thing that ever happened. Now they well, it was it was kind of important. They well, it was very important. But somebody today was saying, you know, there are three important days that we will always remember, and we go, what's that? And they go, Pearl Harbor, yep. the World Trade Center, and the attack on the Capitol. Yep, exactly. I don't think so. What about the death of JFK? I mean, that uh, that certainly was an important one. Yeah, but that wasn't trying to destroy the, our democracy. Well, in a way it was. They felt by killing the president, they were, you know, killing off our democracy. Well, it, it, Johnson came in and everything went back fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, because Johnson was, believe it or not, a good guy. We didn't expect that was going to happen, you know. But uh, uh, it, it was, uh, it was uh, you know, it was quite a, I mean, it was quite a thing a year ago, and it was quite a different uh, situation than we yeah. were normally, we never considered that would ever happen, okay? No. That a bunch of people would attack the, uh, the uh, and, and what's amazing today, you've got the, uh, uh, the Congress, the Republicans, aren't even paying attention to it. They yeah. act like it never happened, and They're you know confessing the crimes on TV, and like, it, like it's nothing. Yeah, but it happened to them. Yeah, you know, it happened to them, and they were all scared too. They were the ones frantically calling the president, trying to get him to call the people off. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, it it's it's amazing that the Republicans are just kind of denying it ever happened, you know. And uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, Jeff, watch Jeff. He's trying to find out how to turn on his audio. <laughs> uh, you know. By the way, speaking of stroke victims, uh, yes. I, I talked to Will Durst today. Ah, he now, doing? here's the thing about Will. I caught him while he they just took him out of a shower and they had shaved him and they had cut his hair. And it looked like the old Will Durst. Oh, wow. And I mean, and, and he was talking and he was, full, you know, he, I, it was almost like I was talking to him, you know, two years ago. Hmm, um, really? So I said to him, from here on in, when we do these, these things with you, let's do it with you standing up, okay, <laughs> or sitting up. Because it's, it, 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 it's a much better picture of you. I said, yeah. you're not going to get as many donations to your GoFundMe, but, you know, <laughs> The other way you look, it, it, I said, it's, it's like day and night. Marjorie came in and saw him and went, what, is Will better now? I said, no, he's not better. He's just sitting up. You know, so anyway, I wish I could have, I uh, could have, you know, put the recorded that, uh, that thing that we did today because I would be a lot, a lot better. Do I sound like I'm losing my ability to talk? Nah. Nah. You sound, you sound just like a normal guy. I try to make a coherent statement, and I can't seem to do it. Welcome to the club. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> How you doing, Jeff? I'm doing well. How'd you celebrate Insurrection Day? Mm, crazy. I can't believe that Trump is still around. I, I thought it was terrific what the president did. 
what yeah. he said today? Yes. 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 He I mean, communicated he communicated fi- to everybody. He said, "Hey, everybody, here's what happened. Let's let's cut out the bullshit." Yeah. Yeah. No, I I thought it was a very good speech, uh, and I'm usually critical of his speeches because I consider them all dull and inane, and I doze off. But I was watching him today, and I was going, you know, you're finally saying what needs to be said. You know, he never said Trump by name. He said the former president. Yes. Uh, and uh, he just said, you know, come on. This is the guy who was responsible for it. Yeah. And uh, the criticism is it took him so long to say it. He yeah. should have said this six months ago. Well, it, it, there wasn't an occasion to do it and to do it where he wasn't going to be reproached for doing it. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 I guess you can get away with it more today because of the anniversary. But still, I mean, he's done a lot of damage with this lie over the past year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he keeps lying about it. Yeah. I mean, he just won't give up on it. I mean, whatever whatever happened to being a good loser? <laughs> you know? Well, Carl Rove came out and said, what? Well, Put it on the other foot. He said, what, what if in, in 2016, the Democrats had stormed the Capitol saying that Trump hadn't won and had broken in, smashed up everything? You think the Republicans would have just let that go? No, they wouldn't let it go. No. Fox would be holding a vigil today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. You know, the point is, well, history is written by the winners, okay? <laughs> That's always the case. Um, but I just I, yeah, I looked at that today and I, I went you know what, what the, and you would you saw the um, if you looked at the uh, Congress today the Republican side was all empty yeah mm-hmm. and then at the end you know, at the end of the day all the uh, all the Congress that was there got together and stood on the steps of the Capitol with these you know fl- flickering lights these candle lights or whatever uh, it looked like an Italian restaurant that didn't know where to put their candles. Uh, they were all down on the ground and stuff, and it was really it was really nice. And there wasn't a single. There was only two Republicans there. Liz Cheney. Oh, Dick Cheney was there. Yeah, wow. Dick Cheney was, was there. there. Yeah. So Dick's standing by his daughter, you know. Yeah. And and well, you know if any he, is, he if, didn't want to he didn't want to end the democracy. Well, if anybody was a really good Republican, it was Dick Cheney. Yeah. I mean, hell, he was, by by our standards, a hated, yeah. you know, guy. Darth Vader. He was the Darth Vader. We used to refer to him as that. Mm-hmm. And and it was, it was terrible, you know. Uh, but he showed up today. He didn't even have to show up. He isn't a member of Congress, but he stood on those steps with Liz Cheney. And who's the other guy? There's one other person. Uh, on that committee. Oh, uh, what's his name? There's a K. His name's uh, and and uh, you know the Republicans are running around saying, "Well, it's terrible they didn't put any, uh, you know, Republicans on that committee." <laughs> well, they said send us some. Yeah, they they wouldn't. Take and they it. wouldn't send anybody. So they got the only two people that they knew they could they could uh, count on to be on that committee. But today, uh, Pelosi was saying, hey, they were welcome to be part of this committee, yeah. being even part of this committee. But they, they refused to let any of their members show up and be part of it, except we were able to get these two. You know, so, I mean, I, uh, it, it's, we're so dysfunctional. We're just, we're, we're in deep, deep trouble. I mean, I know you guys are probably going to outlive me. Well, who knows? Uh-huh. You know? You know, uh, 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 I hope you don't outlive me. Uh, anyway, no, I, I uh, you know, you outlive me. And, and the fact is, you may not, you, you may have to put up with a lot of this crap. You know? I'm upset that my kids are going to have to put up with this crap. Yes. What kind of a world are you handing them? Yeah. You know, did you, did you, you know, online on YouTube, I saw an interview with Johnny on Johnny Carson, I think with uh, Carl Sagan, yeah, uh, and and it included also Carl Sagan in front of Congress, 
saying that if we don't do something about the way we're doing things, yeah. uh, this country is going to be in deep trouble by, you know, 2020. Yeah. Because, and he was talking about political discord. He wasn't talking yeah. about, you know, the fact that uh, Mother Nature is getting even with us. No, he, he, he was decrying the political state of things, you know, 20, 25 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he was a very smart guy. Yep. What was it tonight on, uh, on the, I always watch, you know, like Be Positive and L Young Sheldon, which are the shows yeah. um, done by what's his name, who I can't remember his name I now. I like all four of those shows. They're great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he always has these, what he calls vanity cards at the end of the show in which he writes something. And what he wrote tonight was, oh God, I, I'm not even gonna try and quote it. But if you get a chance, pause when you see the vanity card this week and read it. It's very funny. And it it's pretty much a put down of, um, you know. He basically, he says, oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna try to paraphrase it. Because okay. if I do, I'll probably paraphrase it all wrong and then that will be terrible. Is anybody else going to call this program tonight? What's happening tonight that nobody's showing up? Uh, 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 people are, are stupid and dumb. They're just not, not calling I mean, us. Either that or, you it's know. It's not even Thursday night football tonight. <laughs> there's nothing. Oh, they're all, oh, young Sheldon's on. Okay, go on, folks. <laughs> you don't know how to record these things? You know. But I don't know. We're just sitting here all by ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So you guys pick the topic. <laughs> well, I bet you you can't believe where I'm going. Oh. Uh, to hell in a handbasket. Oh, no. What? <laughs> where, where? Hell yeah, that's Florida. God. What? Jeff. Are you going to Florida again? Yeah. Well, I haven't been, been there before many times. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the first time I ever. I know, but and I know that met you're a guy look, named uh, Alex. He yeah, was in Florida. But, but COVID's I, going I, wild uh, there. Uh, oh. uh, well, I didn't realize yeah. how horrible Florida was when I moved there. Okay, <laughs> all I knew was somebody offered me a job and I didn't have one. Right? <laughs> That's right. So I go down there, and I found out it's the most hell, uh, horrible place on the planet. I think living in Saudi Arabia and being flogged once a day would be would be better. Would be better than living in Florida. Alex, you know what I was going to ask you? Listen to this: that you, when you went to Florida, right? Because mm -hmm. a friend of mine who I went to high school with, him and his wife, they just moved from upstate New York to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So I said, Pete, is it hard to get there? There six months. Is it hard to get used to? He's like, now, because the wife has family there, he says he's having a hard time because there's no change of seasons. Like when you were in Florida, did you did it, did you get tired of like the heat? Well, I, I mean, I wasn't there through more than one season. So, oh, he, yeah, yeah, six no. he called me today. It's 80 degrees in the valley. It's well, just, no, it, it, oh, you got to remember, I'm from, Cal Cal I'm from California. Okay. Uh -huh. And California, the difference between winter and summer is a matter of degrees as opposed to the actual weather itself, except that now the fires are in season. You know, but Alex, in San Fran, wasn't it? When I went to San Fran that one time, when we went over the bridge, my brother, when you, those hills, did you get snow up there? With, uh, like, would it really be okay. dropping the weather cold? Very like, you know, rarely. I think maybe oh, okay. twice in my lifetime of oh, living dear. there, there was snow on top of what we call Mount Tamil Pius. Oh, okay. And it How did, it did on, on one of those occasions, it snowed at the beach. Really? Oh, yeah, wow. But, it, really and, and we went crazy because as a kid, I never knew from snow. I had, I'd never seen snow till I moved to Klamath Falls, Oregon. Oh, wow. So they okay. get snow in the Midwest, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, in California, the, the difference in the, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, seasons is very marginal. Here, yeah. it's very profound. I mean, yeah. a couple of months ago, it was 90 degrees here. And tonight, right now, it's uh, uh, 36 degrees. And probably going to go down to below that because it's going to snow. Mm -hmm. You know. So, I mean, uh, here, you have a profound change in seasons. 
I kind of like that, really. I'm like my, my sister says, can you take Florida or the warm weather? I said, I said, man, I don't think I could. I think I would miss the change of seasons. Well, I mean, you know, old Jews moved down there because it's it, I don't like the cold. Well, Maybe look at him. He's no going down there. He's going to Florida. But a lot of them used to go down, like my mom's friends, they had a house down there for the winter, and then they would come back up then. They would be the snowbirds. I remember they used to do it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people in Arizona do the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just so going Wisconsin for a while. Minnesota, they come a while. Down. What do you mean you're going for a while? What's a while? See, to me, Six weeks. Huh? Well, that's six long. weeks. Six weeks? You're going for six weeks? You going to Florida? Yeah. Well, you're going to call the show, aren't you? Of course. Of course. I have a telephone. I have a what part of Florida? Computer. Yeah. Wear Florida. a mask. Wear a mask. Well, I'll be dang down right. there. He doesn't care. But yeah, you should wear a mask down there. Oh, I yeah. agree. Because it's 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 a terrible, terrible situation yeah. down there. You know. But Florida's trying to catch Texas. Pass us for second place. Yeah. Right. So, <clears throat> you know. Um, but... Uh, Anyway, so today was on uh, on MSNBC and on CNN especially. Uh, they were doing nothing but talking twenty f- every hour for a whole hour about what happened a year ago. And not that it's not worthy of talking about, but I was getting a little bored of it, <laughs> to tell you the goddamn truth. I mean, I saw it. I saw what happened. Yeah. It's nice of you to remind me that it happened a year ago, but are we going to do this every year? Is next year they're going to say it's two years now? It's three years now? Are we? You know. Probably. Yeah. And when is that whole incident going to kind of fade away into insignificance? Or do you yeah. think it ever will? We still talk about the Civil War. Well, yeah. yeah, but that lasted many years, and a lot of people died in the Civil War. But my question is, how long are we going to be talking about this? Will this make the history books? You know, I watched a documentary on it on the New York Times. I, they had it up. I'll send it to you, Alex. I watched it before. This guy, whoever did the documentary, had unbelievable footage. That was so organized when they were breaking through. It looked, I mean... Oh, what's his name got on the news and, and talked about it, about how we were going to peacefully take over the government. Oh, that was that society. was their idea of peaceful? They showed no, when the lady got shot. They had shot. <laughs> break into the Capitol. They had this all planned. It was 120 Republicans in the Congress that were going to hold up things so that so that they could send all the Electoral College votes back to the states and, 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 and send Trump voters and all that. They were going to do it peacefully until the riot happened. The, well, scary, I, I, the scary thing is it almost worked. They got in there, Alex. You had to see. I'll send you the documentary. Well, I know. I've seen it. Listen, I don't need oh, the don't, documentary. Don't need I've seen, it. I've seen oh, okay. almost yeah. every inch of footage of that that you could possibly see. Right. Alex is really into inches. What'd you say? Footage. What? I said Alex is really into inches of footage. It was gripping, though. You know what it is? I think I think the only way it can actually go away as, as an American in my mind, they basically have Trump cannot run again. And that's what they have to guarantee. And they're not showing up to Republicans other than Liz Cheney. That speaks volumes. The Republicans are talking about running him again. That's the problem. I mean, the Republicans. So why don't you be a mortar, Tony? A martyr. Mar- not a mortar, a martyr. No, I see yeah. why. Why and Make sure that Trump's never uh, eligible again. I see why Dick Cheney was there. You know, uh, two reasons. Number one, I think he's ashamed of being a Republican at this point. Yeah. And I think right. also, right. he, you know, how dare you do this to my daughter? Yeah, I mean, you're right. They, what they did to her was like, like pretty much. Well, listen, to get Liz food. Cheney was not a sweetheart, okay? No, I mean, true. how many here liked Liz Cheney before Nobody. all of this? No. And the only reason we liked her. She was her a hard ass. Is because we liked her because she stood up. She yeah, stood I mean, up, but she didn't stand up for us. No. All of a sudden, she's standing up on our side, <clears throat> and we love uh, Liz Cheney, but uh, and now the Republicans hate her. Can you yeah. imagine that? Dick Cheney's daughter, staunch yeah. conservative Republican, he's staunch. Republican. Okay, you know, this thing isn't over until the people that planned that whole situation yeah. are put in prison. Right. 
If they're never put in prison, this is never going away. They're, they're working they on it. They they know how many people are in prison. Well, they got quite a few who've been going. You know. Yeah. Not the leaders, not the ones that weren't in the Capitol. Yeah, they're going to get the low hanging fruit. I don't think the leader's ever going to see jail. Well, I think well, we should go. At, I think, I think, quite frankly, we should go after Trump. But well, that's what they want. They want him. For three hours. Yeah. Giggling and laughing at the riot and all the people. I, I love how Phil thinks that Pelosi's job is to call the National Guard. Yeah. They were going after it's they were the job of the president. If the president calls the National the Guard. The, they would yeah, be there. The legislative branch controls the National Guard, not not the not the Congress. And he That's shouldn't right. have waited three hours. He should have done it the first minute he saw what was happening. Yep. And if the first window was broken, they should have been there. But, but he didn't want to do it the first minute. He, he wanted to make sure that they overturned the, the election. Yeah, he, he was waiting to see if it would work. Right. He didn't send anybody until it was finally clear that it wasn't going to work. You know, they were they were ready to, to shoot and kill the vice president of the United States. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not... I bet they're not friends anymore. I don't believe in the death penalty, but so far as I know, treason and trying to overthrow the government mm -hmm. carries with it a death penalty. Yeah. I believe the hanging right. back in So the day. I would say it. Trump should be tried and, and, and as a result, if he's found guilty, uh, executed. Absolutely. Okay, for trying. Yeah, to, I mean, we would do, we would do. Look at Benedict Arnold for crying out loud. Look at a lot of the other people in our time. Look at people like the Rosenbergs. Yeah. Who may not have the the it mother at least was not guilty of anything. Right, but she yeah. was still executed. And she was still executed, yeah. and for yeah. far less, far yeah. less than this. Oh okay? yeah. Okay. So you know. Also, this was very self-serving. Well, yeah. yeah. Is there anybody out there that disagrees with me? All you got to do is go over to gabnet.net and uh, there's a, a thing that says click here to zoom us. You just click on that, it'll put you right here. Okay? Yeah. So, you know. Give uh, us your opinion. We'd love to hear it. Well, you know, I mean, we could have Phil here, but then we get, we know what his opinion yeah, would be and have. his defense of it and all of that. Well, he, he would, he would, he would quote something that he knows nothing about, you know? And couldn't even explain how a, a certain vote was taken last night. That was funny. So what, what, vote, well. what vote? What vote were we talking? Oh, about? I don't know. You had, yeah, there was. Uh, oh, he was talking about something, and I, I forgot what it was. Now, and you ask him, "What does that mean?" And he's like, "Oh, uh, let me look it up. Hold on a minute." So yeah. I, I don't really remember. It was funny. He I think Phil's well. ashamed of Trump actually now, Alex. He won't admit that to you. Well, I how how you know, it, Alan. You know Phil even even better than I do because you have dinner with him all the time. Right. He's not a stupid man, is he? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. He's he's not an he's not so an, the only, I mean, the only thing we disagree on is politics. And he's not a pay. he's not an uh, indecent guy. He's no. a decent no, he's individual. A, he's very smart. I consider him a mentor. No. Other than, oh. but I mean, other he's a decent he's a reason. decent person. I mean, I'll show you how he's decent nice he is. Person. When uh, when they had the tornadoes uh, down in. Uh, Georgia. Uh, uh, in no. Georgia. And not he Georgia. Contacted no, Vernon. Yep. Not G Georgia, but where uh, yeah. he is. Where was it? It was in Kentucky. Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, in Kentucky, Georgia. Yeah. What do yeah. I know? He he wrote me and he Could've said, do you, do, you have his, do you have mm -hmm. his email address? I want to find out if he's okay. Right. Now, mm -hmm. I didn't even know that he might be in trouble. But suddenly saying he was okay and wondering if he was okay and wanting to t get in touch with him. That's the kind of guy Phil is. Mm -hmm. And and that does not to me come in line with all his attitude about politics. Because he, he's a very decent, humane person who Absolutely. then believes in inhumane politics. Mm -hmm. yep. I told Alex, you know what I told him? I was said maybe one time I may come out there to visit. And I was gonna ask Alex, does he seem safe enough to visit? I mean he's right? got he's got a noose ready if you come out. <laughs> He's gonna let you hang yourself. Yeah, he has no, a gun. He's, he's gonna shoot yeah. me with his gun if I show up. Yeah, I think yeah. I have to take you for protection, Alex. I said, lock the guns up, or I'll take Alex. <laughs> no, you'll have to use me as a shield. 
It's got all hype behind you, Alex. Tell them to line everything up. But I mean, yeah, he, that's the way the Latinos do it. Yeah. They grab their girlfriend in a shootout. She's a bullet magnet. Now he's got the guns locked up, right? I'm sure he only yes. goes to that range. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. It's California law. Any of us that own have them locked in a safe. But he, you know, I mean, uh, uh, Phil. I think I often wonder how much Phil says just for effect. And yeah, I do right. too. I do too sometimes. Like. When we were talking about the, like, the the vaccines, he says to me one night, I know better. What was I thinking to go get the vaccines? You were thinking about your health and safety. That's what you were thinking yeah. about. And he had no response to that. You know, and a lot of times he says things that are political just to try and, you know, start a little argument, a little friendly argument. That's okay. I don't mind. I can hold my own. I'm okay with him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a decent guy. You know, yeah, I mean, he's been friends with Alex for like 50 years or 100 years now or something. Or however, uh, uh, yeah. A long time. Yeah, I've known him. You remember you said he was on your couch, Alex. Did you say that, remember? Well, I've known him since uh, the, uh, when did I get to California? 1969. Early 70s, I early think 70s. Said. Yeah. When did you start out there, Alex, in radio? Was it the early 70s then when you went out there? Well, I was born there. Yeah, you grew up in California. Yeah, but I mean, when did you get on the radio out in San Fran? Was that 1980 or before that? I was, was, I was, I was in radio. And we thought in the, it was the coffee that was doing this. I'm actually on tea tonight, actually. Tony's brain. I went to Costco before for coffee. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, uh, I, um, I, I, um, you know, grew up in the Bay Area in San Francisco, and then I went to work in Marin County at a radio station, which is right yeah. across the bridge. Oh, here we go. I just got a message. That he's listening. Oh, no. So he says, he says, I'm a moron. It was the Georgia ballot harvesting investigation. Oh, that's right. He mentioned and something. Did, and he didn't know what a harvesting investigation was. He didn't. And he, he talked about the senators, but he was implying that Trump was in there, too. And that's you ask him, Alex, what 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 a harvesting, a ballot harvesting was. And he yeah. didn't have an answer. Well, so he, it, it he is. It, it's, you want. He's listening to the show right now. He just sent me a text. They've they've got the harvesters out, and they're right. they're harvesting the uh, the ballots. You know? <laughs> I didn't even you know, he, according to him, and by the way, they Democrats, make some great fritters out of them. Absolutely, according to him, only Democrats fake the ballots. Republicans are so honest, they would never do that. <laughs> they would never do that. Yeah, God, right. I wish I That's could. That's why the only voter fraud that they've ever actually seen have been Republicans. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. They they have a couple of people that have been caught, tried, and convicted for it, and they were yeah. Republicans. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I want to find, see if I can find this. I'll see if it's up yet. Uh, if, 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 if Chuck Lorre, you know, does these vanity cards, and yeah. he does them. Uh, let me see, uh, and and he does these vanity cards, and he does one every uh, for every every week. He has one on all the shows. Yeah, uh, but uh, it doesn't seem like we have them here. Let's see here, let's see here. What uh, what 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 censored? No, that's not it. Bill says he'd be happy to come on right now, but he's in his underwear, the one with little polka dots and. Uh, <laughs> He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't say that. I'm going to get in trouble. He didn't say that. So, But I understand there was a, a rather an intersection or a, 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 or this show where he got up from yeah, the desk. Yeah, we've seen his underwear before. And he's seen his underwear. Somebody told him. Well, I, you Somebody know something? Told. This is strange. Here I'm doing this show, and, you know, you see me up to here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and you don't know what I'm wearing below that. Exactly. Yeah. I always make sure I have a pair of like P PJs on. That's what Absolutely. I do. Too, yeah. You know, I <laughs> never would sit here in my underpants. I don't know why. Nobody's going to see it. I have this fear I might have to get up and walk away. Yeah. You but you might have to go to the restroom all of a sudden. You might have a senior moment where you have to get to the bathroom quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, so, and, and if I got up now, you know, it, 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 I'm in the living room, as you know, here on this show. <laughs> yeah. right. Actually, it looks very convincing, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I thought you would move. In fact, yeah, in the really other good. room, I was using the same background and kind of testing it. And I I'm, went back and I'm sat waiting. on the bed, and it looked like I was sitting on the couch. I'm waiting for the air conditioner to fall out the window. <laughs> Never happened. Bonita. You know why? Why? Because here in New York, we have, floor, it, it, you know. we have a law. You have to have a bracket, a shelf that goes out. Oh, okay. And holds it. I, yeah. I've seen a lot of buildings in when I was in New York where they, and in Chicago and places where they have all these room air conditioners sticking out the windows and the walls. And I thought, boy, during an earthquake, a lot of those would be hitting the ground. Although you guys don't have earthquakes very often. So. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we don't. But we do have mm -hmm. a, we do have a large fault. Did you know that? Yeah, going there's one under New York. Going through Central yeah. Park. Yeah. Ooh, really? Yep. Huh. Yep. When was the last time that they had that? Uh, that a couple of years ago, there was a slight tremor. Huh. <clears throat> did you notice it? No. No. no I well, never did. But I. Well, you're not near the park. Well, the largest. Fine. The largest fault in the country is not in California. It's in Missouri. It's in Missouri. It? It's the New Madrid fault. And if that oh. thing ever decides to really go, tornadoes Missouri. will be a welcome I, I maybe surprise. The largest fault in the country was Trump. <laughs> no, it's not his fault. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. poor thing. Oh. Anyway, you know, the guy probably when he gets ready to go to bed at night, he probably has mirrors all over the in the walls in the in, in his in his bedroom. He pushes Milani out of the way and he gets undressed in front of a mirror because he's a narcissist. Look at that beautiful body there. Who could argue with me? Smartest guy in the world. And then the mirror cracks. Well, you know, I mean, this guy is such a narcissist that he took a, you know, I think the line that, Trump, uh, that Biden had today was uh, he didn't, he wasn't a former president he was a what was the word that was used it, 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 it had to make trump feel terrible i was too busy to see it oh. i read parts of it on the news though yeah he said he was a something like a, a not a loser a loser president <laughs> yeah a yeah. moron the, the the he he didn't claim to he said the person that was in the white house before him or something like that I don't think he called him president. He never, ever once referred to him as Trump, as Donald Trump. He he referred to him, I think, the former president, or the okay. former person who held this office. I, yeah. yeah, I think that's what he said. Yeah. So. I didn't. I don't think he wanted to dignify it by using the man's name, right? Because everybody knows who he was. And it's, isn't it interesting? That while he was in office, and even after he was in office, I mean, what are we supposed to call him? Uh, President Trump. Yeah, and 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 all his and, and, and all his friends call him Mr. President. In fact, uh, I uh, uh, I interviewed Jimmy Carter, and you know, I called him Mr. President. That's what you do. Nobody We've calls him. That. Nobody calls him Mr. President. They all refer to him as Trump. Yeah, you know, you know. I mean, doesn't he understand I, what a lazy, horrible I, job he? I did? think we we've, we've always bestowed Mr. President or Mr. Senator or Mr. Mayor or something, even after they're out of office. Yeah. Trump mm -hmm. would be the first president that we probably didn't give him that honor. If you saw him, you would say, "Hey, buddy." Sit on it, you know. Thanks well, for you know, I I, re I I remember the night that he won. That was shocking. Marjorie yeah. woke up and she said to me, well, uh, what's happening? And I said, Trump's president. And she went, oh, my God. She was yeah. wondering why you were on the ledge outside the window. And, and then I said to her, well, don't worry. You know, we haven't seen him as president yet. For all we know, he'll do an OK job. We don't know. I remember you said but that. We, but we didn't yeah. know. You know, and I think I, I think you have to. And I said, and don't worry about him ruining this country. This democracy survives; will survive anything. Yeah, you did say that, yes. Yeah, so. And I was wrong on both counts. Yep. I mean, if, if we can survive George W. Bush, we can survive anything. No, I'll tell you something. 
Uh, which George Bush? The son? George the, W. Bush. Yeah. Was, who, was Bush. who was it? Who was it that said? I was watching an interview with John Stewart, and he and the, he was being interviewed by uh, I think uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly. It was about five years ago, and Bill O'Reilly said, "Has there ever been a Republican you've liked?" He said, "I thought George Bush Senior was okay." He, was. he said, "I, I thought he was. Okay. I thought he he was a decent American, and I and cared so. about this democracy, you yeah. know." And he said, "Did you would have you ever voted for a Republican?" And he says, "Yeah, yeah." He says, "I voted against Dukakis. I can't remember who was running against Dukakis at the time, and won. I think it was maybe it was Bush." I think you're right. Yeah. I think it was Bush. And, yeah. and he said, I, I couldn't vote for Dukakis, that moron with a, with a helmet on, you know? <laughs> he was so, stupid, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, there were good Republicans. Uh, he said uh, Romney was not a bad idea. He said, I wouldn't have voted. I didn't vote for him. He said, but he wasn't a bad idea. I would have voted. I would have voted for Romney. Actually, Romney. Because he's Romney, done. Romney couldn't have done. <laughs> I think he would he would make a good president. I don't know if he made a like good president. I don't like his religious ideas, but uh, what Stewart said, and it and I've said it many times, it, but it's been disproven by Trump, is that the best people to make president are businessmen because they know how to run a corporation. However, yeah, well, we got the worst so well. businessman yeah. in America. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem, <laughs> you know. I've heard part of, part of the problem I think Trump found out early in his presidency was. Yeah. He was used to saying, "Do this," and it got done. But you know, and then he then then something called Congress got in the way of everything he wanted to do. Yeah, and I think it was a sticker shock for him. Or uh, yeah, he believed that the president could do whatever he wanted to do. That's right. Like he, he was found out Congress, even when he had total control in his first two years. Well, all the thing, all the things that he did. Hi, Kevin. All the things that he did when he uh, was uh, in office where he would sign everything in the law by just making proclamations. Like right. the president, yep. but the, any, yeah. any of those things he wrote up, the next president can come in and just write the opposite and do away with it. If they don't well, he, hold. He undid a lot of Obama stuff. Yes, he hated Obama. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. You know what's shocking, Alex, you mentioned that, how he hated Obama. I was thinking about this and I told this to my brother. Obama's looking so, like, much better and better in, over the last 20 years. And I'll tell you why I said this to my brother. This, with, with the Affordable Care Act, look how important that one bill, even though it wasn't everything we wanted, look how important it was to give health care to people now during a pandemic. Yeah. Who go to the doctor? Absolutely. Obama had the, he had the vision to see yeah. what could happen. I don't think well, he had was a trying to rip everything up and just burn it. I don't think he had a vision. I think a lot of people had that vision. I mean, look, Bill Clinton, using right. Hillary, yeah. tried to start an Affordable Care Act, and uh, the only trouble was he made the big mistake of doing it during his first term. Okay. You know, and he should have learned that that's not the best time to get that kind of thing done. Second term is the time to get that kind of thing done. And so it fell flat on its face, but he tried it before Obama. I, I think Obama was a great humanitarian based on just the Affordable Care Act. There's well, no I, reason anybody in this country should not have a U.S. citizen should not have basic health care. Well, they do in other countries. Right. And and that's what right. Obamacare it, it, gave. Yeah, I bring this up. Though. You're wrong about that, Alan. The oh. Supreme Court made it so that they couldn't. That gave the rights to the states to deny expanded <clears throat> medic Medicaid. Oh. Otherwise, it would have covered everybody. He's right. The Supreme Court stepped in and took that away, and that's why so many people weren't covered. When did they that's take that, that, when, when, when did they it. take that away? What? When did they take that away? They took that away before Obama got out of office. Okay. So you don't in have you in Texas don't have the Affordable Care Act. What's that? So nobody in Texas can use the Affordable Care Act? No, no, it expanded Medicaid. Oh, okay. There's like two and a half million Texans that, that fall into that gap between being poor enough to get Medicaid and being having enough money to afford their own health insurance. So they have no insurance at all. See, that's that donut hole where they slip through then. 
No, the donut hole is something else completely, Tony. Totally but the court, the Marjorie court hit the donut, the donut hole this right, year. Even though it didn't cost the states a penny, they no. had the right to say, no, we won't accept Medicaid. And by the way, Marjorie thought the donut hole hit when she spent up to like 3200 3300 whatever that, where the donut hole begins, that amount of money out of her pocket. But no... What it is, is the actual cost of the medicine. And she yeah. had a couple of pieces of medicine that put her in the donut hole by March. Yeah. Holy shit, wow. Complimenting yeah. Me, of course. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I get all my drugs at Costco. It's it, 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 saying it, it, I don't have insurance, it's cheaper than by getting my drugs through uh, Medicare. You know. Wow. Really? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't have any. A couple that are, of years from now, when I get Medicare, yeah. Well, I don't have. Uh, I, I I don't have any drugs that are that expensive. Marjorie has a couple who are just ridiculous. I mean, uh, you know. So, uh, and and only because she had doctors that always say, "Oh, you can't get the generic." Are you going to be Bullshit. on? Are you going to be on Alex's show on a more regular basis, Tony? Who show? Are you going to be on Alex's show on a more regular basis? If so, I'll send you some decaf coffee. Oh, crazy. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm not crazy. I don't care about decaf. people. I just, Listen, he's not last doing Last night, you were so wired. It was I know. I mixed he, the he, vanilla blend with the regular blend. That, that happens he's every not, time. He's not doing Tony, too well. To, he's not I love doing, my coffee. I just bought yeah, a thing yeah, of uh, well, shut from, up, Tony. Uh, Tony, shut up. Tony, shut up. Shut up, Tony. See, Alex he's not doing that. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. He would have strangled me when he heard that I sent Tony some coffee. Will you listen to me a second? He's not doing too well on tea tonight. Okay. I know. I love my night, my night, my night light beverages. I, then I watch late night TV all night. Well, I drink coffee while I'm on the air here, but then I take this pregabalin before I go to sleep, and I'm out for nine hours. You know what I was going to ask? You know what check he's been taking? I'm going to take it. The melatonin, the melatonin, I don't know how to pronounce Mel it. Mel melatonin. That's it. My mom still has it. I may take one. Is that all right if I mix it with my tea or not? Mom still oh, has yeah. it? Can, Sounds good we'll go upstairs too. and get it from her. <clears throat> I have one over here because I still have her old ones. I used to give them to her. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to put her to sleep because it was like, uh, what did, sometimes it didn't work, though. She would get up at 3 in the morning, though. So the trick with melatonin yeah, I'll tell you what, is... the, what's a great sleeping aid if you really need it, Tony. Sometimes Her I do. Yeah, yeah heroin. Ionite. works <laughs> good, too. I'll probably be dead. You get yourself two drinks on you, you, you give yourself a good no, stiff, Tony, 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 good stiff shot. Get, get, a, get a good stiff shot of heroin. You're out like a light. <laughs> Tony, with melatonin, you need to take it on a near empty stomach at least two hours before you want to go to sleep. Oh, I had an English muffin before, though, so I don't know if I should. What do you do so to put yourself to sleep, Kevin? Or do you go to sleep? Do you Somebody go to sleep said, well? Do you, do, you, do you just doze right off? What time you cut out? No, when you do you just go right to sleep, or do you have to take something to put you to sleep? No, I go to sleep. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Because as you get older, it, you know it's harder to. How about you, Charlie? Night, night. Do you I sleep know, okay? Do you go to sleep okay at night? Who? Charlie, you, Charlie. Oh yeah, I no, I have no trouble since I retired. I have no trouble sleeping at night. Wait a minute. What's yep. What's the T-shirt tonight? I'm retired. Yeah. This is and I gotta use my I gotta use my glasses now, or I can't see. Yeah, what what's the little sentence? I'm re I'm is retired. This is as dressed up as I get. This is as dressed <laughs> up as I get. Yeah. That's good. Uh, he always has the best t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I've I've been getting some t-shirts like his too. Let's see if I can get mine in there. Oh. Uh -oh. It's got a salt, salt and battery. Got a battery. Well, a well it, the battery. writing is pretty distorted there on that stomach. But let me yeah, see. well, I know. A salt and battery. <laughs> I actually have a bunch of corny shirts like Charlie does. His are intellectual. Mine are just funny. My favorite T-shirt, I don't have it here now because it's in the other room, is the T-shirt I bought in China with uh, uh, Obama as a Chinese soldier. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's a very popular T-shirt. In fact, they're sold everywhere. Yes, no matter where I, you went over there, there was Obama on the T-shirt. I have a T-shirt that's got two little heads in this canoe and two little paddles, mm -hmm. and it says "Row faster." I hear banjos. Oh, you know what I forgot to do tonight? I've had this thing. 
I don't know what it is, but at at 10 o'clock every night, my lights start flickering. They they kind of pulsate. And I do that for about five minutes, and then all of a sudden, they're fine again. Every night at 10 o'clock. So I called my super today, and he said, get out your camera and take some video of it so I can see it. And so we can maybe show it to Con Ed. Because something's going on. I mean, every single night, 10 o'clock. Wasn't somebody Mama, murdered in your apartment before what, you were there? What? Wasn't somebody murdered in your apartment before you were there? No. You got ghosts. You got to call Ghostbusters. <laughs> really? Well, I, I, I thought somebody told me that somebody was killed. In the building, John oh, Lennon Oh, in the building. Him. Oh, I thought it was in your apartment. I mean, nobody you, was killed in this apartment. How do you know? Well, I mean, I don't know. Oh, okay, well, I don't know. I just remember. But don't they? Somebody don't they? Killed. If you if you have an apartment or you buy a house where somebody was killed, they have to tell you. They do in California, not every state. And why do they have to tell you? What's the purpose? I have no that? idea. Because somebody might come back to kill some more. And maybe I don't I know. Yes. You know. I think I we ought to warn you. Trump has been in your neighborhood too. What? <laughs> I think they ought to warn you if Trump has been in your neighborhood, too. Yeah, yeah. So how are you doing, Kevin? <laughs> okay, how are you? How did you spend Insurrection Day? Uh, I watched Fox for a little while and listened to them rant and rave. Were they, were they talking about it? Yeah. Because yeah. I went over there and I didn't see them talking about it. Well, you know, I watched it towards the end of the day, so it was uh, mostly... Uh, mm. The primetime news that Lawrence guy and then Tucker came on and said nothing ever happened and the usual BS, you know. Yeah, yeah. It uh, it was pretty comical and then I got tired of it and ate dinner. <laughs> Four minutes into watching Fox News, you got tired of it. Yeah, well, you know, you, you, <laughs> it's just I amazing. I watch it once a week for about fifteen minutes just to see what the other side is. So. Well, they do the they do the exact opposite of MSNBC. They of get course. their people on there and they, you know, well, have you, you, their you know pundits you, on there. And yeah, in this interview, it, they're, it, not, uh, uh, also, they're not that creative anymore. But Tucker no, they're not. Thinks that Fauci is an idiot. So well, the other know. interview that I watched of John Stewart was he did with uh, uh, Wallace. Over at uh, over at Fox, and uh, Chris mm-hmm. Wallace, and he uh, said that the problem is he finds the same problem with MSNBC that all MSNBC is trying to do is to cash in on people who are, don't want to watch Fox, right. you know, who have the opposite opinion, and they're no different than Fox in that respect. They oh, see yeah. where their where their butter is, you know. It's both CNN, Fox, and NB- MSNBC. They're all doing the same thing. Yeah, but they're all guilty of the same. And now, yeah, and now Newsmax is on the Fox, you know, Fox side too. So, you got those four just doing the same thing back and forth, pissing on each other. Well, Newsmax is trying to be tougher than Fox. Yeah, but nobody watches them. (laughs) And and uh, uh, what is it? uh, One. uh, O N. O N. Oh yeah, One America. O N. America News. O A N. OAN, One American yeah. News. I don't get them, thank God. Yeah, the, One American News is trying to be worse than the rest of them. You know, so yeah, that, and that's the one that uh, former former president. What's his name? Watches like Charlie wears. What? What? Uh, okay, hold on a minute. What does that say? I'm allergic to stupid people. You got a lot of people that your t- your them. T-shirts don't come close to to Charlie's. I, I I didn't say they did. I said they were just funny. They're not. They're not. Well, let's see. Hate cops. Next time, call a crackhead. And here's the banjo one. It's cute, I think. Really? Yeah. Well, you. Everybody says you have no sense of humor, Alex. They're right. <laughs> Yeah, I have no sense of humor at all. I just, just... He couldn't see the funnier side of things if, without a sense of humor. Hmm. They forget the T-shirts. Yeah, well, now, now you have no wardrobe for tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> Two months. Anyway, um, 
you know, I mean, I just think that uh, we're uh, we've got a lot of troubles here, and 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 uh, I just don't understand. I just don't understand the uh, the Republicans. Nobody can explain them to me. What you know. I don't like is that they lie blatantly, and the and the press won't call them out on it. Well, I mean, what they're basically saying today is that what happened last year on the sixth of January never took place. Right, it was a swimming party. It was a bunch of people showing up for a festive time to try and uh, support the democracy. Right. I mean, what are they afraid of? I don't get Are they the afraid they're going to lose their base? Who's their base? Morons? I don't yep. know. I, I think, you know, everybody's like, everybody wants to see Trump's taxes. Everybody wants to see that he's not guilty of anything. Fine. Give the government what they want Ke so they yeah. can look it over Kevin, and decide you, that it was all bullshit. Kevin, when you were first growing up, okay, what were you told? What were you told was the difference? This was way back when you were a kid, okay? What were you told was the difference between the Republicans and the Democrats? I didn't know a difference at the time. They were all politicians, and you picked what you wanted. Okay, well, the one that I heard, the one my father always said. And me, you always had, uh, you know, it was the, I grew up in the, you know, don't trust anybody over 30 era, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I couldn't say that because when that came out, I was over 30. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, the fact is that uh, the um, my father used to say to me the difference between the Republicans and the Democrats were the Democrats were for the working man and the Republicans were for the businessman. Right, right. Okay, That's that was the difference between the two parties. And I saw no problem with that. You know, I align right. myself with the working man. Somebody else aligns himself with the, uh, with the businessman. And uh, everybody gets represented. Okay. Uh, but that's not the case anymore. The Republicans, what do they? Who do they? What do they stand for? What's the difference? Yeah, they're turning around and, and talking anti-corporate and everything else, and then they talk about being for the working man. But they're the ones that are standing up there, kicking out all the bullshit. Yeah. I mean, is Trump uh, standing up for the working man? Hell no. He's the one that screws the working man. Yeah. Right. That's what I try to try to under, try to understand with. Some of these people that I know that follow him, I go, you know, I'd say something like, this is the guy that you hated when you went to work. Mm -hmm. This is the guy that wouldn't give you a raise. This is the guy that would hold your paycheck for something. This is the guy that wouldn't pay you on time if he paid you or he just decided to shut the door know. and change the name on the door and start a new company and all of a sudden you're out of a job. You know, this is who you want to support? Yeah, that's not a working man's man. Hard. That's a corporate man. Talk to the contractors that work for him to build Trump. Yeah, and then yeah, they talk I mean, about you know anti-corporate, but yet he's acting very corporate. I, I, it's just baffling. Yep. Well, anyway, <laughs> all, what I'm saying is that to me was the difference between the two. That was what I was yeah, taught yeah. by my father. Yeah, and and I saw nothing wrong with that. I said maybe Blue someday I'll be a businessman and I'll want to be a Republican. You know, right? And you you got that good blend of the argument. Yeah, you know, when they were arguing, they'd argue and then they'd slowly cross the aisle here, cross the aisle there, and then they'd come to a conclusion. Of course, that didn't happen during the Nixon era, but after that, it kind of you know they did it a lot. Well, but where it, it started, faded away again. Where it started to kind of go away, when the Republican Party started to lose its its uh, its way, I think was in the Reagan Gingrich. era. The Reagan era. Yep. Gingrich. Gingrich. Ging and then Gingrich. Yep. Yeah. And then all the people who were emboldened by the Reagan era, and then by Reaganomics and all of that. Yep. And then oh it just yeah, got, that really it, helped the white man or the or the, it, the working man. It sorry. just got worse and worse, worse and worse. And you know, I mean, I always like the Republicans existing because you need the loyal opposition. You know, you need a you person need who balance, says, "Well, yeah. you know, here's another side <laughs> to this story, and here it is." And I always found the Republicans to not be my cup of tea, but I found them to be reasonable, you know? Until and, Trump came and out. And also willing to work for the betterment of the country. Hello Until there, Trump Mr. Neary. Well, 
Hmm. Yeah, and it's been that both sides have become such extremists. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And, both and, sides. And, and he's showing us his new cap. Hey, how about that coronavirus? <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> what is that the new cap you guys are turning out now? Yeah, I got one for you. Because this is the old one. Oh, that's a good-looking yeah. cap, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it to you. Uh, Does Adrian, it come with a free test kit? Well, no, they don't no. skimp on these caps because these caps are good caps. Yeah, Nike. Nike. Everything. You know, there are ones that are... Mm -hmm. I have one down here, a Harlem cap, that is but, looks so horrible. So I ordered some of those tests that you put on the, on Facebook for COVID, at-home COVID test. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, those Look are the that. ones Isn't that school. Is a terrible cap? Oh. oh, no, it's good. Harlem? It looks good. Yeah. It looks like a wrapper. Somebody said, I better not wear this out on the street or I'll get killed. Turn it sideways a little bit. Turn it sideways a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, like Yo, this. Dog. Like this. Oh, no, homie. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> How to change hats without letting them see the top of your head. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, no, so but no, you guys Brian, got, you should send us all those hats. We'll advertise for you. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> like advertising hats everywhere I go. Like advertising on this show is really gonna get you. you yeah. Know, <laughs> lots of sales. You know. Um so here here's where I got screwed today. I, I think I got screwed. I don't know if I have. Uh I bought this thing that was for my Mac Mini that kind of allowed you to have a, another solid state drive in it and so on and so forth that attached to it, right? And the thing was, the thing kept not holding on to the solid state memory. So I wrote them and they said, yeah, we suddenly realized we have a hardware problem and there's no way we can fix it because we can't program your hardware. So, you know, what we suggest is send it back to Amazon, get your money back. And, you know, when we come out with the new one, you can... So the day they write me and they say, well, thank you so much for writing us about that problem. Give us your name, give us your address, uh, give us a, uh, a, you know, a little bit of this information or that information, and then send us a picture of it. And I said, I can't send a picture of it because I sent it back to Amazon because you told me to. So I don't know if they're going to send me a new one because I already got my money back for the old one. Oh, you should have taken that, look, looked up a picture on Amazon, took a picture of that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Well, no, we are, yeah, so I don't know. I can't believe you're actually Jewish. And you, can... <laughs> you know, so I get screwed on that one. So. <laughs> well, maybe, you know, if they're a good company, they'll send me one anyway. Because I went through the trouble of having to go back and send it back to Amazon, which meant I had to go back. You know how you return to Amazon now? They don't send you the, all the stuff. You, I mean. They send you a thing, and then you will go down to Whole Foods. Oh, it's Whole Foods or Kohl's. Oh, is Coles another for, one? Coles yeah. is another one. You, all you need is your ticket. You go in. Yeah. You and just drop they scan it off. It, you're done. You don't even. And the next thing you know, you get anymore. a notification. Your money's been returned to your account. You know. Yep. So, but anyway, so I mean, so I don't know if I'm going to get. It'd be nice if they sent me one because it'd be, be great PR for them if they sent one to somebody like me, because then you become very loyal to a product, mm -hmm. you know, and that creates product loyalty. And what's it cost you? You know, the cost of that new piece of equipment, which maybe was 30 bucks or something like that. You know, so, I don't know. Whatever. Um, how's everything in your neck of the woods, Brian? How are you celebrating Insurrection Day? <laughs> uh, staying away from the news. <laughs> um, yeah, no, 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 just COVID just going crazy over here. I mean, we had... Our company, we had like onesie twosies, you know, these emails that come out, say somebody in one of the buildings and stuff like that. And coming back, we had a, a huge, huge spike. So um, we're, uh, I just don't understand. CES, you know, the Consumer Electronics Show is still going on. You have the Grand National Roaster Show for, for Hot Rods and Customs is going on in LA in a couple of weeks. And it's like, man, we're hitting I really thought bad. maybe you were at CES. No. You posted no. something on Facebook. Yeah, so I, you know, I said my friends be safe because people are just getting too relaxed right now. and it's going mm -hmm. Well, quick. I mean, here in New York, what was interesting is that we have uh, the Music Man on Broadway with Hugh Jackman mm. and Sutton Foster, okay? And Sutton Foster came down with COVID. Mm. Guess who came down with it after her? 
Hugh Jackman. So they had to. They didn't cancel the show. It's just you had to, if you wanted to see it, you had to see it with understudies. Yeah. You know. Why they don't just close the theaters down and say we can't do it? You know, we can't endanger our crew. Uh, if Sutton Money. got it and all these other people are working next to her and singing and spitting. Money and greed. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the movie companies have been shutting down their production. <coughs> a lot of TV shows. Mm. Well, because people are getting coming down with it, and yeah. they don't want to endanger their their crew. But, yeah, our in, India. We are, we have I have a building going up in India right now. In India, um, the government shut down for the weekends, so they're locked down on the weekends right now. So they're they're pretty good. They they even stopped uh, like a couple months ago when it was spiking in India. They sh they shut everything down for a couple of days. Just told everyone to stay home. Mm -hmm. Shut everything down, and then. Um, so, wow. yeah, it's pretty crazy. Amazing. Just amazing. Uh, you know, uh, but, I mean, it, also all the all the sports people. Going yeah. Like uh, Kylie Irving, is that his name? Yeah. He was a basketball mm -hmm. player for the Knicks. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and Knit. Antonio Brown Knit. has a fake, fake vaccination card thingy, I think, also. Yeah, but he, <clears throat> he, he, he refuses to get an, an vaccinated so they can only play games in, with him in cities where they don't have the rules. Yeah. yeah. And my yeah. feeling is, fuck you. You don't let him play. Right. He doesn't want to get yeah. vaccinated. You don't pay him, and you don't play him. That's you what Australia is doing with Jokovic. Saying, exactly. Fuck you, you're, not, exactly. you're not coming in the country. Absolutely. Thank God. And basketball, I mean, that's the worst sport. I think it's even worse than football because you're right there breathing yeah. and pushing and on Sweating. guys all the time. Yeah, yeah but the football, fact you're that, sort of tackling the, and then the fact, you, they have the shields yeah. they can have. But basketball, you're right on the, top the of that. The fact that the team, is, the ownership of the team is so intent on winning mm, yeah. that they will and let gambling. him play and endanger other people <laughs> is terrible. Is and just gambling. terrible. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, and I, I, I can't believe they let that go on, you know, yeah. but well, my, my granddaughter plays basketball. Yeah. But they all have to wear masks. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, and, good for them. Masks yeah. are the big thing. They well, protect you and they protect them. Well, I, I'm, protect I'm beginning them. to wonder a little bit, though, about. Uh, uh, Omicron and the fact that Omicron may be the COVID killer that if enough yeah, people only hope. if enough people get it and it's not that terrible it's not going to kill you okay right. then maybe we will get to that herd immunity uh, and we it, this will kill uh, COVID uh, that's the only hope we can have about Omicron we're scared of it right now because it is so infectious and it spreads so easily, but it's also weaker, and that's good because once you get it, you've got an immunity. You know. Yeah, my son. It's actually, his... not weaker. It's just that it's not infecting deep into the lungs like the other ones. Yeah, were. it's well, it's not as deadly. Let's put right. it that way. Deadly. Okay. Well, so, yeah, my, but but my it still gives. Best friend got it. Yeah. My son's best friend has COVID. They they did like this <laughs> Chicago and a couple places <laughs> for visiting last week, and then, uh, but yeah, he has he has barely any symptoms. Yeah. My nephew came down with it, living with my mother who's eighty eight. Yeah, is she okay so far? A son, daughter, and grandsons got it. Yeah, right, wow. but they all now, after they had it, have a measure of immunity that they wouldn't have had before. And that, somewhat, may, yeah. that may yeah. be why this could be the COVID killer, but who knows? Anyway, hey, listen, that's our theme. Wow. Really, Already? I just got on. Really a nice, yeah, well, mm -hmm. yeah, they, that's what happens when you're late to school. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but thank you. Anyway, Brian, we appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Charlie, great having you here, Jeff. Great having you here. Tony. Michael. Uh, yeah. Okay, Boy, are you wired uh, uh alan thank you <laughs> yeah. kevin thank you and of course brian thank you everybody give a big wave goodbye and i'll give a wave goodbye back at you okay there they go folks that's our citizen panel for tonight yep there they go let me uh let me just uh, get rid of them here hold on a second this takes a second there we go okay now that's it for tonight 
We'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Jack Bishop and the Intersection is next over most of this gab net. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you aren't, get vaccinated. And if you are vaccinated twice, get a boost. And if you don't do any of those things, wear a goddamn mask, you idiot. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.